Is that a Yu-Gi-Oh video on my Pokemon channel? What the hell, Junk Seeker? Yeah, uh, I like I like I like the Yu-Gi-Oh and how it done it a little bit. So I pick up the Striker deck, uh, Freezing Chains. Uh, some of you guys might not know, but I actually do like collecting decks. Now, I mostly collect Pokemon decks. I believe this is the first Yu-Gi-Oh deck I've actually opened. And I'm hoping, I'm praying, that it comes with a deck box. So this being the first one I've done since I was a kid, uh, it's all I'm hoping to see in here, because I like having this, all these deck boxes is sacked up and it looks cool. That's 100% the reason that I like to collect them. And, oh, I thought that was it at first. So we have, I believe, a playmat here. Now, of course, we also picked this up because while Pokemon cards are getting harder to find in stores, or they've been hard to find in stores, wow, that is just a... Full-on advertisement here. We have Phantom Rage, Legendary Jolus, Rise of the Dolus, Blazing Vortex. Good God. Yu-Gi-Oh! really has so many things. Oh, that is sick! Oh, I, didn't, I haven't been using my top camera because it's kind of a pain. I don't like the quality of it that much. But that would have been perfect for the top camera. It's like a poster, man! If you don't come with the deck box, I don't mind. I actually like this. That is sick. Anyways, um, a trip to Walmart. This is all that they had as far as cards are concerned. And while, yes, I do like doing Yu-Gi-Oh, I was hoping for the Pokemon, but I don't mind any Yu-Gi-Oh as well. This is literally all that they had. So, actually, I think this was actually one that Anna picked up, so huge thanks to Anna. It's this is something that I thought would be interesting to do, because I've never done a structure deck from Yu-Gi-Oh. And it appears that we do not get a deck box. That is a big ugh from me. The posters still might make it worth it for me. I'm not a huge poster person, but unless I'm really into the franchise. And Yu-Gi-Oh! is definitely one of those. I'm not sure exactly if I'll hang them up. Maybe one day I can get like a Yu-Gi-Oh! wall going. But let's see what all we have in here. So we're going to start off, and again, I'm bad with Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm not the most knowledgeable, but we have Revealer of the Ice Barrier as a hollow there. Speaker for the Ice Barriers. Okay, fair enough. Again, as a hollow. Uh, Zujin of the Ice Barrier. Yep, a lot of Ice Barrier going on here, guys. Yeah, I, I get it. It's a theme. Wins over the Ice Barrier. Yeah, another Ice Barrier. Oh, look, another Ice Barrier Hollow. It actually looks pretty cool. Uh, Trishula Zero Dragon of the Ice Barrier. I don't get tired of that phrase. Uh, okay, that looks sick. Look, I don't care what you guys say about you. Actually, it's probably from ISO down. I think Yu Gi Oh cards tend to be a bit brighter sometimes. I don't care what you guys say about dragon cards, some of them can be really cool. But, you gotta admit, that lion is sick. Probably not worth much, but I don't care. Dulorin, Tiger King of the Ice Barrier. Wow, what a shocker. Another dragon, that's cool. Man, I gotta say, these structured decks, they really hit with the hollows. They do not treat us that well with Pokemon. Um, God, we have like a... It's, it's, it's like a Wavern, I'd have to say? It's, it, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like a dog with wings, essentially, like a lion with wings. Uh, but that looks kind of neat. I want to say Chimera, but that doesn't sound right to me. Uh, okay, we actually have another one of that. That, that is a duplicate, correct? Um, no, okay, it's actually different. So that's zero dragon. This is just dragon. I'm assuming this one's more rare or better, I suppose. Um, and okay, we are out of the hollows. General Wayne of the Ice Barrier. How many of these are these all going to say Ice Barrier? I get it. I understand Yu-Gi-Oh! scheming. Sometimes people explain it to me like I don't know. I get that I'm not that knowledgeable on Yu-Gi-Oh! But come on, I, I understand thematics. Um, but is every card in this deck of the Ice Barrier? Um, Dance Princess of the Ice Barrier. Dai Sojo of the Ice Barrier. General have a black medium of the ice barrier. General of the ice barrier. Hey, there we go. No more ice barrier. Look at that adorable boy. You look like you belong on the front cover of a PlayStation exclusive game. Like a hundred percent. Tell me that doesn't scream PlayStation exclusive right there. That is adorable. He needs his own spin-off series. Uh Undyne, kinda neat. Aqua Spirit, Dupe Frog. Look at that doopy little boy. Why is he? He's like graduating, but he's also covered in question marks. Um, oh, it's a Ronin Toten. Ronin Toten. Holy God, I usually complain about Yu-Gi-Oh names. I love this. This this deck. This deck has got it going, man. I, I love this. This is great. Um, Silent Angler, kind of neat. Um, yeah, we got some spell cards. As somebody who doesn't really play the game a whole lot, I, I do like playing Dole Links, but of course it's very different from the game nowadays. Um... As someone who just likes to collect, not necessarily play physically, because I don't have really friends that live near me I can play physically with. Um, 
the trap cards and spell cards are just like, yeah, if it has value, it's kind of cool, but a lot of them are just like, I only really care about the nostalgic ones, if I'm being honest with you guys. And that is the end. And ironically, speaking of Dole Links, oh, there's a few things in here. Uh, there's a thing for it. Um, does this give you something in-game? I think it's probably just a download thing for it, but if you guys can scan that, I sorry I can't really get it in focus that close. If it gives you something, feel free. Um, and okay, that's kind of neat. I like that. As somebody who likes to collect paper, that's pretty cool. Uh, we also have Legacy the Dolus Link Evolution add in here. Is this like a... Okay, this is um, uh, one of the PC games. Well, I refer to them as that. You can get it, yeah, down here. PS4, Xbox One, Steam, Switch. I, I would get it on PC. Then we have a thing for Blazing Vortex. Scan here to learn more. I've actually done a little bit of Blazing Vortex and a thing for the structure deck. I gotta say, I am disappointed not to see a deck because I like a deck box because I want to keep all of these together. I'm gonna have to find a good way to do it in a way that I can label it and keep all of these together. Maybe I could find like a clear case and just keep that on the front. I wouldn't mind that. Or even something like, uh, let, me, let me find let me find it so you guys can understand. So I know it feels like I'm going real off the plate here, but trust me, I'm not. Uh, this is a copy of Lego Racers for the N64. It's just the first game that I grabbed. And they make these things for N64 games that make it easier to see them when they're on a the shelf. These are not official. You can buy these on eBay. It's like a label that goes over the top, so when they're sitting on a shelf, you can actually see what the game is without having to display all of them like that. With the size of my N64 collection and most people, that would be too much of a pain. So having that is very useful. And that's one of the reasons I like the deck boxes that come with Pokemon cards, is you basically have that on the end of the deck box. Of course, with this, you don't have that. But what if I were to get a clear case and keep that on the top and then make a... Uh, you know, like print off a thing that, you know, basically has that right there and get it, you know, with some like clear tape essentially and put it on the end of the plastic holder. The biggest, you know, barrier to entry is finding a holder that fits these cards snugly or at least somewhat. I don't know, just spitballing here. It's not something I'm going to be looking into currently, but it's actually not a terrible idea in my opinion. Of course, it's my idea, so I'm going to like it. But anyways, I know it was a bit of a weirder video, but if you enjoyed it anyways, uh, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel. I don't do Yu-Gi-Oh! all of the time, but it's still something that I love to visit, and it gives me a bit of a break from doing Pokemon all the time. I also want to get, I want to find lamps like this for Yu-Gi-Oh! I like these lamps because they set a, a nice background going, and it's kind of weird to see Pokemon back here. I want to get like a Dark Magician or something to replace Magikarp for Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, and maybe get some like Yu-Gi-Oh! lamps if I can find them somewhere, if they make anything like this, because these are just like Chinese bootleg crap. So surely they have something like that for Yu-Gi-Oh! Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, like I said, give it a like, all that fun stuff. I've already gone over that. Hopefully, I will see y'all next time. I'm sorry for rambling. Goodbye.